Hey guys, Cannon here with Free Tours by Foot. Now it's been a while since we have done a should have asked a tour guide video, but we've been in the midst of our busiest time of year and I just had a baby. So we have a lot of things going on in Washington, D.C. But in between showing eighth graders, school groups, and families around the city, we are still somewhat normal residents of the nation's capital. We thought we'd take some time to share with you some of the more unique spots in Washington, D.C. to hang out. To be honest, a lot of our unique places in D.C. to hang out involve food. We have a great foodie scene in D.C. that has for years flown under the radar. But we're still big history nerds, so give us good food and a good story and we're set. If you've taken our popular Lincoln Assassination walking tour, then you've heard about Walk and Roll, the Chinese fast food joint that is in the old Surratt boarding house. Mary Surratt's boarding house is one of the places John Wilkes Booth met with his co-conspirators before the assassination of President Lincoln. But if fried rice and a side of conspiracy aren't your cup of tea, you can get an actual cup of tea at the Willard Hotel. This beautiful setting also has its fair share of history. From the room where Julia Ward Howe wrote Battle Hymn of the Republic, to the one where Martin Luther King Jr. put the finishing touches on what became the I Have a Dream speech. Their afternoon tea is served in Peacock Alley and was named one of the top places to have tea like a royal by the Travel Channel. So don your best hat and join us for their famous freshly baked scones. Moving from afternoon to evening, another great option unique to DC is vintage board game night at the Woodrow Wilson House. This historic home to our 28th president still holds the original furnishing and his belongings. So you can play a round of Trivial Pursuit our trivia team is undefeated amongst Wilson's famous personal library or have a round of croquet in the back garden. It's a fun way to see the inside of a historic home that we talk about on our Embassy Row walking tours. We have a lot of presidential history in DC, obviously, and two presidential sites in nation's capital honor their love of the arts. The Kennedy Performing Arts Center is where you can find the National Opera, ballet, symphony, touring musicals, and free nightly concerts at Millennium Stage. You should check out the talent and enjoy a night of the arts, but also go for the stunning view of the National Mall and Potomac River. Arrive early and take our self-guided tour of the Kennedy Center. The Kennedy Center isn't the only place to watch theater. Ford's Theater, where President Lincoln was shot while watching a play, is yet again an actual theater with incredible performances. The National Arboretum is another unique to D.C. spot to visit and a great escape from the crowded museums and hustle on the National Mall. An Instagram favorite is the old Capitol Columns, but we love the National Bonsai and Penjing Museum. This large collection of small trees is an impressive form of art and a hidden treasure. Now before we go, one last unique place to eat. It really is our favorite thing to do between tours. Busboys and Poets is a local D.C. chain of restaurants. You can find them in quite a few places around the D.C. metro area. It's more than just a restaurant. It's a community gathering place, so you can attend many unique events here. Their food tastes great and feels great, with a lot of locally sourced goods. The name Busboys and Poets refers to American poet Langston Hughes, who worked as a busboy at the D.C. Warburton Park Hotel in the 1920s prior to gaining recognition as a poet. There are so many things to do in DC and if you're visiting the city, you really ought to see the standard sites like the National Mall and Capitol Hill. But we hope to see you in some of these unique to DC places as well. Seriously, you'll probably run into us at Vintage Game Night. Stay in touch by subscribing to our channel here to keep finding out more cool and unique places in cities around the world. If you'd like to continue the conversation, chat with us in the comments below or tag us on social media at Free Tours by Foot. And be sure to like this video so we keep talking about times where you should have asked a tour guide.